Welcome back! I hope you have had a great weekend and you are ready for a new week of summer. Today I'd like to show you how I created two cute gift tags that also work as mini cards. I'll be featuring poppy stamps dice. Let's start with the Halloween tag and then we'll move on to the birthday one. I'm starting by applying some uh, Distress inks right from the pad onto a piece of white cardstock to color it. I'm using squeezed lemonade, spiced marmalade and weathered wood, which is uh, the bluish-gray shade. And I'm going to need a bit more of uh, gray cardstock. Then I'm going to use some dies by Poppy Stamps. They are all from Whittle collection. These ones are called Whittle Candy Corn, Whittle Pumpkins, Whittle Ghost, Whittle Maple Leaf and Whipple Oak Leaf. Now I'm going to release all the die cuts from the dies and I'm also going to die cut a few more leaves. As always, the tools and supplies I'm using are going to be listed down below in the description box as well as on my blog. I'm also going to use the stitched tags as well as the matching tag frames. And again, I've used the gray and uh, white cardstocks. At that moment, I remembered that candy corns actually have some white in them, so I had to die cut that image again out of white cardstock and I'm using uh, distress markers to color it. I'm using the same colors, squeezed lemonade and uh, spiced marmalade and this way it's going to match the rest of the project perfectly. I like adding card bases to the gift tags, so I folded a piece of cardstock and uh, then I'm placing my tag die on top of it so that the top edge um, is hanging off uh, the fold. This way I'm going to create a top folding card base, which is the same shape as my tag. Adding card bases to the tags is uh, very simple and it's a great way to get more out of your tags because you can leave personal messages. Then I'm shaping a piece of twine into a loop and I'm attaching it onto the tag and I'm using both uh, the liquid glue and some tape. This way the tag can also be attached to a gift bag or a gift or used as a wall hanging. Now I'm applying some double-sided adhesive onto the card front and I'm sticking down the gray tag on top of it. Never mind the dark lines, they are going to be covered up later on anyway. And now I'm also attaching the frame using some foam tape. So what I have to do now is just to attach all the pre-cut shapes onto the tag inside the frame. I'm arranging uh, the three images and then I'm going to fill in the spaces between those images with the leaves. I am attaching the die cuts one by one and I'm mainly applying the adhesive only in the center, so this way I will uh, have a chance to tuck other die cuts behind uh, the previous ones and I can overlap them. I'm also trimming down some die cuts when necessary to be able to attach them close to the edge of the frame. Now I'm going to stick down the pumpkin as well as candy corn and then I'm going to fill in the remaining small spaces uh, with the leaf die cuts, again trimming them down. Fill in the entire space within the frame with die cuts is a very simple idea, but this way you are creating the background, you are adding the focal images and uh, a lot of texture just all in one go. 
All there is left to do now is to add some uh, accents and I'm going to use a couple of sequin mixes by Cat Scrappiness. This one is Spiderweb Confetti and it has those uh, tiny shiny spiderwebs images. I'm going to attach three of them. Then I'll be using another sequin mix Trick or Treat. This one is all Halloween colors. I'm not planning to add a sentiment to the tag since it speaks Halloween even without any words. So as soon as the glue dries, which is pretty quickly, I can call this project finished. By the way, I have used the second largest tag from the set to create this project and for the next one I'll be using uh, the very largest one. So let's move on to the next project right now. It's going to be really similar to the previous one. So you see I'm using uh, larger tags. Again, I have created a card base out of grey cardstock and I will also need a panel and a frame. I will need another bunch of uh, whittle dies. This is the tree frame. I'm also going to use the whittle otter and whittle birds. I will also need the tiny die that is called the rotary phone and uh, I'm going to use the small sentiment as well. You'll see all the products in the list below. I'm applying some glue and attaching uh, to wine to the tag just like I did uh, the previous time. I'm taping the twine down so that I don't have to wait until the glue dries. Before I attach the white tag panel, I want to die cut a window in it using this wood frame die. So I'm taping it down and sending it through the machine. I'm going to put away the negative piece to make an open window, but I'm going to keep the wood frame die cut. So I'm flipping over my tag and I'm attaching the pieces of tape so that uh, the frame and the tag will stay connected. Once I have it taped, I'm flipping over the tag to the right side and I'm going to attach another wood frame die cut on top. This one is going to be black just because I want to add a bit more contrast. I like holding down the intricate die cuts with an acrylic block. This is uh, the way to make sure they are going to be stuck all over. The sentiment I'm using uh, goes Happy Valentine's Day, but I'm going to limit myself to Happy Day this time. This way it's going to work for a number of uh, occasions, including birthdays. Once the sentiment is attached, I'm going to add some more elements. This tiny die set is Whittle Birds. I've die cut them out of grey cardstock and I'm attaching them as if they are perched on a frame using some foam squares. It is the same cardstock that I used for the card base. My focal image is going to be that little otter that I've die cut out of white cardstock and I'm going to place him inside the frame. So I have applied the glue onto the bottom part of the die cut and I'm placing my frame on top. Another teeny tiny die is that rotary phone that I'm going to place there as well. So I've applied the glue again on the phone and placing uh, the frame on top. This die is actually about the size of a thumbnail. Now I'm applying some glue onto that teeny tiny receiver and I'm tucking it behind uh, the paw of the otter. This is such a small detail, but it looks really cute. Here the telephone die cut came off, so I have to reattach it. Then I'm going to apply some foam squares all over the panel at the wrong side and I'm sticking it down onto the grey card base. 
I'm also going to use that uh, cord die cut to connect the receiver with the phone and I'm sticking it down uh, right onto the background. Then I'm planning to add a frame as well. This is optional. You have probably noticed that uh, the tag die cut already has that decorative stitched border all around it. But I think that adding a frame will um, just create a little bit more dimension and interest. And that finishes the second project for today. I like the fact that cute projects like these can be used both for children and for adults, and they are also great as um, both masculine and feminine projects. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial till the end. I really hope you enjoyed it and you are going to use some of the ideas on your own projects. See you again soon!